Well, hello, everybody. Bob Brisky here, Pinnacle Financial Services. We want to welcome you to a special edition of our Connect for Insurance podcast. I'm here with Rob Valencia, our national agent uh, trainer, who's up, awful, everybody? awful busy this time of year with a lot of things going on. Um, but today we're really, really excited to talk about a amazing uh, opportunity that is available to all of our agents here at Pinnacle Financial Services. Uh, so we want to go through uh, what is arguably one of the, the best things that's come along here uh, for our Pinnacle agents um, for quite some time. I mean, this is something that has not been available to any agents uh, truly uh, selling Medicare Advantage. And here at Pinnacle Financial Services, lo and behold, our agents are going to have a huge uh, opportunity selling uh, Medicare Advantage uh, with the what would they call the IE SNP product, not to be confused with the I SNP product, which more to come on that maybe down the road. We're going to talk about the IE SNP product today, Rob. S- sounds more confusing <laughs> than it actually is. But you're, the the one word I want everybody to take away from today is exclusive. You're going to hear that multiple times because right. guess what? It's only for Pinnacle agents. You're with us already. You got advantage over your your other people, your other agents that are around the area. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So we're going to try and keep it tight here a little bit, go through some stuff. Um, first off, what kind of product are we talking about? This is a true Medicare Advantage uh, plan. It's an MAPD. Think of it like any other Medicare Advantage plan you sell with a, a little bit of a wrinkle. First off, the plan is a five-star plan. So, Rob, five-star plan, remind me, when, when can we sell a five-star plan? Every day, all day, every month. Exactly. <laughs> five-star plan. So, this is available to be, be sold today. It can be sold tomorrow. It can be sold every single day. So, a huge opportunity here with a five-star plan. Um, and then also, what company – we talking about today this plan's available? I, I think they're a top five in the entire country. Actually, the world, right? Yeah, pretty much. United Healthcare, which is the number one Medicare Advantage company. So great branding, great, great name recognition, five-star plan. Uh, and then to boot, it's one of the most competitive plans that we've seen here that's available to agents to be sold. And we have some of the highlights up here. So first off, this plan is going to be made available before AEP in a lot of states, right? So you can see current states, New York, Pennsylvania, Jersey, Connecticut, Florida, and then there's a little asterisk there, Connecticut, end of July. Um, There's a little processing thing going on inside of UHC to make sure our agents are getting paid on this. Uh, So that's end of July, more to come on that. But if you're in any of the other four states selling today, you could actually sell this plan to your clients and get paid. And not just that, this pays just like a regular MA plan. Exactly. No difference, which includes both your regular commissions and your overrides. It's all the same, all right through lean, Jarvis, everything, right? Exactly. Exactly. So beautiful there. So same commissions. Uh, we're looking at very low out-of-pocket maximum. The the M's not there. We also know this as MOOP, right? Depending on the state, you're looking at 1,500 or 1,600 uh, maximum out-of-pocket, which is which is just a great and just really competitive. So imagine coming across any of the other Medicare Advantage plans that are, that are being sold out there in the industry today, and having the ability to offer uh, a large uh, majority of your clients, uh, this type of product with a low uh, MOOP, good dental benefits up to 3,500. There's some state variations. We're going to show you some more information on that. Quarterly OTC, one-way rides. You got vision benefits, got hearing benefits. Pretty darn strong product to be made available here. And oh, by the way, five-star plan can be sold every day. I mean, honestly, when you look at all the different benefits it has, it is... I mean, in a lot of ways, has it's more robust than even a dual special needs plan, a DSNP exactly. or a chronic. Now, the only thing it doesn't have that we do get a lot of questions about is it does not have a food benefit. Yeah, that's, so, that's a little asterisk you want to be aware of. You're selling to someone who's um, utilizing their food card and, and whatnot. You want to be cognizant of that. This may not be a fit for that individual. 
Uh, but like anything, we go through the benefits. We got to know where it fits, what's most appropriate for for everybody. Uh, but we're going to go into this now and really show you a little bit about all of this. So we talked about uh, it's going to be available in a lot of states. Uh, it's going to be available prior to a- AEP. Uh, there is a what they call a clinical aspect to this or level of care assessment that has to get done. So there is a little extra wrinkle, almost like a chronic plan, right, where somebody's got to be a diabetic to get access to it. There's that extra little component with this plan as well, which we're going to talk about. Um, and then don't forget, uh, got to be with Pinnacle. With United Healthcare, exclusive, <laughs> exclusivity to sell this plan. So that's a, a big one. Uh, make sure you're aware of now you're going to see a, uh, several different uh, ways we talk about this today. So we're talking about the IE SNP. So it's institutional equivalent SNP, right? A little different than the skilled plan, the I SNP um, plan. You're also going to see this called the assisted living plan, but yep. benefit to everybody. You can actually sell this to people living in their home as well. Again, as long as they qualify the level of care, a little uh, extra uh, hurdle you got to jump through, but you're going to go through that. Can be dual, can be non dual. Um, we're going to talk about ADLs and IADLs today. Those of you in the long term care space, you probably remember this terminology, but there's an easy way that we're going to go through this as well, Rob. Who qualifies? So you are going to be able to do a little check on Jarvis as well. And if they do um, qualify per Jarvis, you're actually able to skip the UHC vendor assessment that has to get done. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 kind of super beneficial if your person is on any form of LIS or they're any kind of dual. And so that's you're talking Slim B, Quim B, you know, QMB plus. It'll in Jarvis tell you that they're, they can qualify for this plan and because you're with Pinnacle, exclusive, uh, and you're actually going to be able to see LOC care met, and it'll tell you it's been met or not met. So basically, if it's been met, this is just like a regular MA. You do nothing different. You go right into the enrollment, which um, you know we'll talk about it. But yeah. r- right now, it's either through lean or paper. Uh, and we're working, we think this week, you know, or the next week or two, we should see it on uh, Connection and Sunfire as well. Yeah. So our Connect for Medicare platform will have this product made available as well. Again, it's available for sale today. So you could sell it on lean. There's a paper enrollment to be done. There's an extra certification that has to get done for this, just like the SNP certification. We're going to talk about that a little bit more today. The vendor is called WellSky. That's a UHC vendor. And uh, we'll, we'll talk about the process also. All right, that's our clinical aspect in this plan. So when we talk about a clinical aspect, I, I know we're talking a lot more of this type of stuff with our value-based enrollment type platforms, uh, whether it's Optum, whether it's ChenMed, whether it's uh, some of the other ones that are out there that I know our agents are partaking in. So this is a similar type program where there's that extra level of care being made available uh, to the individuals that are on this. So this is really a extra... Um, a touch that they're going to get from uh, clinical nurses, nurse practitioners, uh, physician assistants. Uh, there's going to be on-site visits, over-the-phone stuff that can be done and help the clients to really utilize their plan, right? Have that extra set of eyes on in- individuals that very well could need that extra level of care. Well, th- it's not just that. So what you won't see on this slide with their care coordinators is what they're willing to do in terms of going above and beyond. So uh, there's a story that uh, Jill from Optum uh, will shout her out on this. Uh, she loves to tell, which I think is super impactful. So uh, I normally tell the microwave story, but this one I'm going to tell the dog story. So there was a client that was on this IE SNP plant. Uh, they had a dog. And the dog was their life. It was their best friend. And it, they found out that the place that they moved into, they couldn't keep the dog uh, or they had to leave. So what did they do? They decided, I- I'd rather be homeless with my dog than live in this place. And one of the care coordinators found out and within 24 hours found them another place to say, stay that accepts dogs and they were able to move in that facility. The care coordinators went above and beyond to get them an apartment or right. you know a living facility where they could keep their dog. And I think you know that is something you're not going to get from a traditional 
Now, United Healthcare has great coordinators that are normal coordinators, but from this perspective, the IE SNP, you're not going to find better care coordinators than, that's, than yeah, what they have. That, that's that's truly a great great example. It's impactful. Uh, it really, you know, you can see how that benefits somebody in their lives, right? How many people would say, "Hey, I'm being homeless. If I had to give up my dog, that's." probably normal yeah. <laughs> in most instances, but you know, you get that at the bottom line is you get that extra level of care, extra set of eyes, somebody you can call and, and talk to that's going to look at their situation. It's going to assess their needs, how the plan can work for them. And it's going to do everything they can to make sure that those clients are being taken care of. So uh, that's great. And from a, a facility perspective, because they're getting this extra level of care, it actually increases the average stay in, in a facility, um, which, of course, the facility likes because they're getting this level of care. They're in, say, an assisted living facility or a memory care facility. Now, we're not talking about skilled nursing here, remember. So we're talking about somebody that's at a lower level of care that's, that's required. Um, but getting this extra help is going to allow them to live independently at the end of the day. It's going to allow them to live their lives, um, reducing calls. So we always get that question, what's in it for the facility to have, to want to be part of this? And this is what's in it for the facility, right? Given that extra level of care, um, really helps, uh, the individuals be more independent, not have to go into some type of higher level skilled, uh, facility. Yeah, and this plays too into the fact that we're moving a lot more towards the proactive approach rather than the reactive approach on medicine. You know, your person might not be super healthy, right? They might be on LAS, they might have some issues with their ADLs, but I think they're really doing whatever they can to prevent whatever is wrong with them from getting worse and stopping any other future illnesses if they can. True. Because you have a lot of eyes on uh, all the issues that are going on yeah, too, you know, yeah. not just one person. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, so we're going to talk about this a lot today. Steps to get set up. First off, um, in bold, there it is exclusive. It's exclusive, <laughs> right? Pinnacle. So you have to be contracted through the hierarchy of Pinnacle Financial Services. That can also include uh, any agencies local that you're working with, as long as again your hierarchy and yourself is in the UHC uh, hierarchy of Pinnacle, you can get access to this. There is an extra training that has to get done, so everybody's getting into that certain mode. I know we've already started knocking those out here for Pinnacle Financial. Uh, there is an extra training that has to get done. So there's a little uh, little video you have to watch. There's a QR code you scan. There's an attestation you got to click on. And then you will get this special uh, training loaded into your learning lab uh, in, in Jarvis. Yeah. And I mean, look, um, it's, that sounds like a lot, right? But uh, we're actually going to show you a website uh, that we have built on our, our PFS site um, that is exclusive only to our IE SNP uh, agents. And uh, I will tell you, uh, I think the training that was designed is pretty good. I mean, I might be biased because I, I did it myself, but uh, I we walk you through every single step and it sounds worse than it really is. Now, I will tell you, just as in previous certifications, like the retail certification, it is a little difficult, you know, but if you pay attention to all the training we have, you'll breeze right through it. It's only 15 questions. So, yeah, yeah. no, exactly. We've had a lot of agents already start taking it, a lot of feedback from them. We're, we're creating our best practices, make sure that it's streamlined, easy to use, easy to manage. And of course, we're going to do everything we can here to help you uh, get, get set up for this. So uh, remember a little extra certification that's got to get done, but no worries. We are here to assist. All right. Enrollment. Rob had mentioned right now you can do paper. You can do it through lean. We're adding it to our Connect for Medicare platforms of Connecture and Sunfire. Um, so we're going to have it available to be sold as long as you're certified, you're in Pinnacle's hierarchy, you're certified, you got access to Connection Sunfire, you're going to be able to sell it through there. If you're trying to sell it today in one of those states that it is available, it's going to be paper or lean. Um, it's a dual-like product, but it can be sold to dual and non-dual members. Uh, there's some extra benefits. We talked about how strong the benefits are on this product. The summary of benefits are going to be available. You can dive into those um, to make sure that it's available. Uh, it does have a small premium on that, but most people that are getting the level of care, their LIS, they're going to have that premium taken care of in this plan as well. Um, if you have additional questions on how that works, most of you are already in the Medicare Advantage space. So this is nothing new if somebody's on LIS, how the 
that handles their Medicare um, Advantage premium. But um, any questions, we can certainly help you at that aspect as well. Yeah, and keep in mind too, once these are actually in our Connect for Medicare platform, um, you know, especially uh, like Sunfire. Sunfire actually has a, a Medicaid Medicare lookup system now. So when it actually finds your client, it'll apply all of those percentages right through the system. So you won't even need to do any of the math. It'll yeah. automatically do it for yeah. you, which is really important. Yeah, that's that's great. And just hot off the press here, I'll just point this out. Connexure is um, telling us that by AEP, they will have their lookup tool as well on the platform. Boom. So boom, there you go. Both will be there. You'll be able to look up individuals, knock out that premium. So uh, hopefully uh, most of the individuals you're talking to, it's going to be a zero premium plan option. So we're going to jump over. We want to talk about the website we created. So this website, uh, you see the assisted living plan, the IE SNP, right? It's the uh, institutional equivalent SNP. Five-star plan can be sold when? Anytime, anywhere. There you go, right? You're coming across their competitors. Are they? Uh, do they have more than a $1,500 out-of-pocket Odds are probably not, unless maybe you're in Vegas. Vegas, yeah. That's well, there's some areas where the out of pockets <laughs> are low, just in general. But in most areas, you're going to come across individuals with Medicare Advantage plans that have a much higher maximum out of pocket than this. Dental benefits we know are high. OTC benefits um, on there as well. We got a bunch of different buttons here. We're going to click on. So, Rob, you want to start with why sell the plan? So here you go. We've created little maps here for everybody. You can take a look at the benefits that are uh, by state. You can see here monthly premiums might vary a little bit. Maximum out of pocket, you're looking at 15 or 1600, uh, depending on the state you're looking at. You can see there's a link to the summary of benefits on on our page as well. So anybody in the program, you're going to have access to this page, and it's going to have all the gory details um, about the benefits on here as well. So getting certified. So this this is the fun part, right? Because um, you know you get to watch uh, you know 50 minute video. Uh, however, I will tell you, you know, I've seen this <laughs> seen this a bunch of times, and uh, I will tell you that um, it's probably got a lot of tidbits you wouldn't think that's in there. And Jill from Optum, shout out again to Jill, uh, but she she does a really good job at walking you through exactly what it is and the actual Optum care coordinators and, and what they do. And she injects a lot. She has like a thousand different stories at this point that I've heard uh, you right. know, her talk about, right. which is really cool. Right, exactly. And and that's why you, you watch the video, you get to the end of the video, you're going to see this nice little QR code. Everybody's going through COVID, is going to a restaurant, had to pull up the menu using a QR code at this point. So I, I feel like this is pretty straightforward. You get your camera, you take a picture of it. It's going to go to a survey a uh, little survey monkey attestation. You can see there's a couple little questions that have to get clicked on. Um, when you click on that, you click done. That's going to be your little proof that you watched the video and you did the attestation. And that's going to allow you to get the training, Rob, right? Stuck into their learning lab. They can do that little extra training there uh, where they're going to log in just as you normally would. Right. Yeah. No different. It's going to be exactly where you'd find your 2024 certifications. And United Healthcare was cool this year. So uh, what they did was, and in years past, United Healthcare would come out a week after AI, like clockwork, seven days exactly. This year they came out June 1st. Um, but what they did was, is they they created it so that you could read the content manual beforehand. Uh, the, their entire content manual, which which also meant like you'd be able to see stuff from the 2024 final rule and kind of how they were interpreting it, uh, as well as all the different product modules. So you could get technically somewhat of a head start before you were able to actually take the certifications, which I believe it was uh, the 12th or the 11th is when they actually let you take the certifications, which was still a week and a half before AHIP, which I thought was 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 pretty um, ingenious because it, it gave them right. a, a leg up over every other certification, really. Makes sense. No, that's great. That's great. So you're going through, you got the extra little uh, certification you're going to have to take um, in your learning lab. Uh, these are the, like right here. Yeah, you're going to look. It's going to be invitation only. So remember, it's an exclusive. exclusive. So it uh, is invitation only. You got to go through this process. Um, there's all little confirmations in there that you're part of Pinnacle before you're even able to um, get this invitation only link sent in there and then you can go through and take that certification. And they make it a very pleasant, bright orange, <laughs> kind of hard for you to miss yes, uh, being exactly. able to see that. You exactly, know? exactly. 
so there you go. Here's some screenshots of what it actually looks like. And remember, you know, it's new. And, you know, if you have problems finding it, you know, our team here at Pinnacle, we're well trained um, at this point. Not only Rob, but our whole support team, our, our, our sales team on how to get to where you need to go and any questions you may have on, um, on this whole process. Uh, so we're here to help. You know. And keep in mind, like I said, uh, the certification itself, it's a little difficult, but it's only 15 questions. Um, you have to have an 85 to pass so you can get, you know, two wrong and, and still get through it. Uh, but you have six tries. So if at first you don't succeed, you can try, 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 try again. again, you know. <laughs> uh, so it's, you, you know, go. they definitely give you plenty of times to get through there. And, nice. you know, even if you fail once, you should be okay. Nice, nice, nice. All right. So let's go back to the page, uh, how to sell the plan, benefit approvals, right? So we got this cool process here. So as we mentioned, there's this level of care that has to be done. And whether you're able to look them up on Jarvis and get that level of care confirmed um, right away, or you have to use the vendor. So the WellSky United Healthcare specific vendor that will do a telephone call um, to the individual to uh, do the assessment. Uh, so one way or another, the level of care has to be confirmed before you can actually uh, sell it and take the enrollment. It's not going to be accepted at United Healthcare. Um, that extra step has to be done. So you can see the whole process here. We've got a little uh, cheat sheet that you can go by. Rob, you want to go down a little bit more? We'll go through the step-by-step -step instructions here. We've got what kind of worked out. Um, and really, it's going to make this as easy as possible. Yeah, I mean, literally when I created this, and for those of you that are just listening to this, um, you know, certainly we can get you uh, the, the website because it's not public. It's all exclusive. It's only for our, our people that are doing the IE SNP. This walks you through step by step. It's going to show you how to qualify somebody in Jarvis uh, with the Medicare and Medicaid levels. Uh, what I do like that, that we put on here is once you actually get to the Medicaid eligibility, what it actually looks like. Uh, which is the LOC. And this is what I was explaining earlier, where it says uh, assisted living plan. And it's going to say I SNP certified agents only. It's going to say LOC requirement met or LOC requirement not met. So this is your, your golden ticket. You see LOC requirement met, no well, Scott. You can go right into the enrollment. You can go right in, in lean and get that taken care of. If you see not met, that's when you, you have to look into the well, Scott. And, and uh, it sounds intimidating, but well, Sky typically that day will tell you if they're approved or not. Um, you know, Jill said they're, they're really quick and they pick up, I think she said within 30 seconds. They're yeah. extremely quick and efficient. Yeah, that's a great point. And I want to make sure this is crystal clear. If the Jarvis says LOC not met, it's not as though the client cannot get this policy. You have to pivot to WellSky at that point because they're going to do the certification call. And if they can still qualify through the WellSky call and get their level of care, uh, then they're good to go and you can still write them. That's just a little upfront I think you should do. Just, just if United Healthcare Jarvis's system is saying they're, they're met, you don't have to do the WellSky and you can skip that part of it. But if it says level of care not met, still go to the well sky, still see if we can't qualify them um, through that process. Yeah. And I'm just scrolling here. I mean, you can see it's, it's a really simple process. You're just plugging in all the client's information. You're adding them as a prospect. And eventually you're going to get to a point where you schedule them. Um, and obviously that's going to be based on whether or not it's, you know, uh, if it's a couple, you know, you might want to schedule them. You, they, typically recommend you to schedule them at the same time. So you can get them both um, taken care of at the same time. And it's a telephonic assessment. So it's not like, it's not like a life policy where they're sending someone out to draw blood. Right. And, and here's something else that I think is really cool is once this LOC is met, how many times do you have to like, like a C SNP or D SNP get recertified for the plan? Never. Yeah. Never. <laughs> once the LOC is met, same people, here. You never need to recertify them. It's not, it's not like a yearly thing where they have to qualify for their LOC. One and done, meaning they get these these plan these excellent plan benefits for the rest of their lives. Yeah. As long as the plans Just are around. Think about this. Think about your book of business retention for having a plan that has this strong of benefits that can't be sold by anybody else. So nobody can even come in and, and try and offer it to your your clients. If they're trying to go in with another plan, imagine the other plan. Are they going to have a 
$500 maximum out of pocket? Are they going to have all this care coordination and this team of individuals that are going to help them with, with um, all this different level of care stuff? It's really a book of business retention model. And you can sell this every day because it's a five-star plan. So right now, you can talk to clients about it. Imagine all the clients you're going to come across that typically you might exdate them for AEP because they don't have um, a, uh, a SEP that you could sell them right now. But now you can if they can qualify in the level of care. You can make these sales now. Um, again, we're going to have other states rolling out besides those handful of states that are part of the initial enrollment. But listen, you got to get set up with Pinnacle. You got to get your training done and you got to make sure that you're ready to hit the ground running once this is available in your state to be sold. Now, yeah. I, I yeah. know people, uh, you know, the ADL thing can be confusing. Well, guess what? Well, we have a, an aid for you that we created specifically to walk you through what an ADL is, which is activities of daily living. And then something new, by the way, for me that I didn't know existed was IADL. So I, I was learning kind of the process as we went through here, and that's instrumental activities of daily living. And we actually have an entire sheet here, and this is something you can actually download, bring with you, uh, or you know, if you're talking to someone over the phone, you can kind of check these off and make some notes for yourself, which is really helpful. Um, but a lot of it's really simple things, and you know. Uh, we also have another job aid here, which will tell you the process for each state in terms of the actual state-specific information. So every state's a little different with how they view the LOC. So like Florida, uh, you just need to meet two of the four qualifications. So anyone on this call, do you have someone that needs help with their medicine? Boom, that's that's 50% of the LOC process. Yeah. Yeah. You have someone that comes over to take care of their pet. That's an IDL. Boom, they qualify. I mean, yeah. that's not that's super simple. The, right. the, you know, we're not right. we're not going we're not, too crazy. We're here. not talking about somebody has to be somebody with Alzheimer's or dementia, right? Obviously, that's a that's a big qualification. Yeah, this could really be somebody that's just some some minor stuff. They're you know due to getting older, right? Some of the memory stuff, um, just some assistance with the IADLs, which are a really low threshold. Rob, you want to go back to the IADL worksheet for me real quick yep. and go down to the IADL section, which is a little bit further down. So you can see we've broken it out. Look at the grooming, financing. Do they have unpaid bills that you're seeing pile up? Are they, do they need help managing their bills? That's an IADL, boom, driving. Are they using the transportation benefit because they're not driving themselves? Boom, they qualify. Housekeeping, you know, shopping, you know, are they, are they using Instacart a lot, right? Are they getting, <laughs> are they getting Grubhub a lot? You know, these are the IADLs. Um, so you can see the level that an individual has to hit to qualify this, for this plan is not quite as daunting as, as you might expect. Remember, this is the IE SNP, right? Assisted living facility, uh, memory care facilities, or somebody living at home can qualify for this. Right. It's not somebody just in a skilled facility. So this is a, a huge benefit um, having this sheet there to help you sort of knock out, hey, this person will probably qualify for this plan. And oh, by the way, they're they got X, Y, Z company that's not United Healthcare or maybe it is United Healthcare, but it's, it's some other product um, that's not quite as good as this one. You could sell them that day if they can qualify under that level of care. Right. Yeah. And, and, and remember, too, United Healthcare, they want people in this plan. Yes. They're not going to go out of their way to investigate and knock people out or not qualify people. So even if you do have to go through the well Skype, you know, and have a nurse practitioner or whoever call in, they're going to do whatever they can to still get this client in the plan. They're not going to uh, you know, try to deter them in any way. So, I mean, I think it's a win win with just in every scenario. Right. No, 100 percent agree. Uh, let's go through some of the other attachments there real quick, Rob. Let's make sure we, we hit them all. And remember, this page, we give this to everybody <clears throat> in the program. So there's some business reply card mailers pieces. So United Healthcare, this is a United Healthcare product. They have some marketing collateral that you can use um, as an agent that is certified. Now, you won't see this until you do your certification for this product. But again, you're going to have the uh, the toolkit in Jarvis that's going to have access to a lot of this stuff. We got some frequently asked questions there about what is the assisted living plan, aka the IE SNP. 
um, plan. There's just some cheat sheets in here. So we're making available everything possible. And there's actually some training videos. If you go, um, I think it's up a little bit, Rob, right there. Assisted training video. Um, you can click on um, the videos on the uh, right there. Yeah, the training. So we've got a lot of, of good stuff here you can watch. Um, and uh, a lot of training materials on here. You're going to go through the certifications. So you're going to have the product information on there. And um, it's just a win-win. I mean, I, there's no reason that if you're contracted with United Healthcare, that you don't have your contract with Pinnacle to have access to this plan. You can sell 365 days a year that has better benefits than a high majority of plans out there in the industry right now. You've got the extra little level of care you got to do, which is not too daunting. You can do it once or twice. It's going to be second nature to you. It's not anything that, that should intimidate anybody. Um, get a little training up front. We're here to support you, right? Rob, you're, you're always available. The team's always available. Um, we're just looking forward to really getting this product going and, and getting in a lot more states. Yeah. And I mean, like, I guess the com most common question we always get is, well, how much does it cost to join Pinnacle? How much does it cost for all your services? How much does it cost to get set up with something like this? Uh, what would you tell them, Bob? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> free. My mom, my mom's one of her famous sayings is free is the way to be. Uh, so it does not cost you to, to work with us. If you are working with us, it doesn't cost you anything to get access to this plan. We just need you to be contracted with us and certified to sell for United Healthcare. And if you're not certified with us, it's not as though we are asking for every company to be moved to us. You just have to be with us for United Healthcare. We have to be able to get you certified and uh, get access to this product. So that's a conversation that we still want to have. Get set up with us for United and get access to this plan. Yeah. And I mean, I'm always available. I've taken all the training myself. I've helped develop a lot of the different things here. We have a really, really good relationship um, with um, the Optum team, which is really kind of the headliners for this for United Healthcare. So we're just we're here to help. Uh, I'm here to help, even if it seems a little daunting. We can always set up one-on-one -on -one trainings. We can do webinars. If you're an agency, we can set up anything that you might need to to get it going for your agency as well. Yeah, exactly. I know it's summertime, but listen way it is anymore the medicare season is, is all year round we got training going on a lot of things going on we're here to help we always always have staff in the office that can assist with um, whatever your schedule may be so please reach out to us get contracted talk to your sales director if you are contracted let's get that attestation done so we can get your training loaded for you uh, and get you selling this product um, so rob do we have any parting words about this product exclusive. It's exclusive. I, I, I have to keep saying it, but uh, there's also one thing too. There's a 9 a.m. call every day that we do as well with the Optum team. So, you know, maybe you talk to an assisted living facility, you have an in, but it's, you know, there's always going to be some unique, you know, circumstances. We, you can jump on the 9 a.m. call and hit us with whatever you got. Yes. And we have somebody from the Optum team there that's willing to answer any questions or have, if you have any concerns, they can help you, which I, I don't know any other company that's doing that for us. Yeah. And just for those of you that may not be aware, Optum UHC, it's pretty synonymous. Optum is part of United Healthcare. So that is, uh, that is the same deal. So the Optum people are United Healthcare people. This is all United Health all United. driven. Uh, so that's why the United Healthcare contracting is required. So, um, get set up. You got our contact information, reach out and, uh, We'll get you going. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I I think that does it for for today. I mean, this is this yeah. is season two of our podcast, by the way. Yes. We we took a little bit of a hiatus, but uh, you know, you can expect you know some some weekly episodes, uh, hard hitting stuff with certifications and you know new product lines and yeah, things like exactly. that. Exactly. Yep. So for this episode of Connect for Insurance podcast, the IE snip from United Healthcare, we're uh, we're going to end it here and be done for today. Rob, appreciate it. Yeah, and uh, thanks, we Bob. look forward to getting everybody started with uh, this product. Thank you again, everybody. And we're going to hope everybody has a great rest of your day. Thanks, Thank everybody. You. Have a great day.